day two of the Arnold. We are kicking it off, hanging out the booth for a minute before we head backstage. We're starting with the yoke and the dumbbell. Yoke is my specialty. I won dumbbell at Worlds last year. Hopefully that goes well. We'll speak to you guys after that. But then we have single arm bag throw for height. Then we finish up with deadlift for reps at 350. Should be a great day. I just have to go and execute in a great place. Very, very excited. And thank you everybody for the support. Our free shipping is over now, but absolutely massive take up. We will be doing more of that in the future. As usual, lift heavy, be kind, wish me luck. Out of Ontario, Canada, the Booze Mitchell. Now, before we continue, I just released a free PDF. Go ahead, check the link in the description to help you guys self-assess before your workouts. Get your hands on it, 100% free. Otherwise, enjoy the video. What's the warm-up strategy? Well, I need way more and more, way more focus on my dumbbell than on the yoke for practice. So, I'll pick the yoke a couple of times, but really just to get my back ready a bit. Uh, everything for me is just dedicated to the dumbbell, so. I'm gonna do the yoke in lifters, which is uncommon, but doesn't really bother me. And then try and warm up the dumbbell to hit at least the opening dumbbell. So at least the 245 there. We'll hit that a couple of times before we get out. If that feels really good, I might try the 260, but just play it by ear. out a little bit but you never dip the elbow the shoulder didn't drop the seat didn't move you started doing that and then you stopped it the way it's written textbook that is a lot Steady steps.
Mitch lifted 130 kilograms easy, but not control. Only problem, not control. Yeah. Another couple of seconds holding it, and it would have been Not okay. a couple of seconds, just hundred of seconds. Second. Yeah, it's enough. Uh, just momentum, but uh, because his technique little bit uh, side lift, yeah. when it's getting heavier, it's harder to to control the lift. It's always very difficult to referee for dumbbell lift. It's hardest. I think it's one of the hardest event to referee, like front hold. Yeah. This two exercises is is, is worse for referees. All right, yoke hit the dumbbells over. Went pretty much as expected. Flew with the yoke, knocked out one dumbbell, which got me into second place. It felt really good. Hit the 120, really good as well. Took a quick breather. I hit the 130, very very close. It was drifting backwards ever so slightly. Sadrunas was almost giving it to me. Didn't. It was the right call. I don't know what angles you guys could see, but it was moving. It was the right call. Some referees definitely would have given it because it's it's hard not to have a knee-jerk reaction. But hats off to Zadrunas for perfect refing. Lucas Hatton won that event. I think I have a two and a half point lead or a three point lead over him with two events to go. Um, and I think we're pulling away from the pack. I've now got a five point lead over Thor, I believe. Uh, amazing events for Thor to come. But I think a, a couple of good performances and we should be in pretty good shape. Weight over bar can be a little bit finicky, uh, but execute well and we'll see how it goes. The good, bad thing is that some guys have gotten injured and some guys have dropped out. Some guys are beat up. So it's very hard to make up points when you don't have people to get in between you, which is starting to happen a little bit. But we should see something special from Thor. Hopefully he'll go after the world record, which is his in this event. And you can see it's pretty high up there. We've got a long way to go to, uh, to clear that bar. That went really, really well. Uh, I hit 18 feet, missed 19. Thor's the only one who got 19. I tied with a couple of other guys. Thor's jumped all the way to second. I'm four points clear with deadlift to go. The field's decimated, guys are tired. Um, need to put in a good performance on deadlift, but it takes quite a bit of pressure off. Um, all I need to do is come fourth or better. I don't think I've ever come worse than fourth in a deadlift, in a show. Uh, so I'm confident. Um, but, you know, anything can happen in strongmen. You don't count your chickens before they hatch. Um, but I think probably a set of five on deadlifts does it, which at 350 for me is uh, no problem. I've done that in training many, many times. Um, but we'll see what goes. Yeah, just the goal now, execute, stay healthy, and uh, hopefully grab that trophy. Mitchell 
Bill. Cool, John and Josh. It was actually more pressure than I thought it was going to be. There were some good deadlift performances. I thought I was going to have to maybe do five, which would be cruisy. Uh, round number nine. Lucas, unbelievable. Seven. No one expected that. Bobby was seven. Thor hits 10. I think pushed to the max. I probably could have had 10 in me. Um, but that was a solid effort to get to an eight and uh, had to execute. But importantly, body is healthy. I feel good. Uh, I just need a bit of rest, which I'll get on the plane ride home and then uh, going back to see the baby and Ash. Baller. Dead set on World's Strongest Man. We're six weeks out, and uh, we won the first two shows of the year, so we're going to keep that ball rolling.